in the vast desert of northwestern China is a place where the country's flying dream was born. I've never been closer to a launch pad like that. This is where China's first satellite, Dongfang Hong One, was launched. <laughs> And after its launch, Chinese scientist Chen Xueson proposed to the government that China should have its own manned space program. Where I'm standing is called Wen Tian Pavilion. This is where all the Chinese astronauts live and train before they go on a mission. For the past two decades, China has sent 11 astronauts into space. We still remember that on October the 15th, 2003, Chinese astronaut Yang Liwei was sent into space by Shenzhou 5 craft. That made China the third country in the world that can independently conduct a manned space program. Two years later, China sent two astronauts into space on Shenzhou 6, which was able to fly for several days. One, two, three. On September 27, 2008, crew members of the Shenzhou 7 carried out China's first extravehicular activity. Three years later, on September 29, 2011, China launched Tiangong-1, the first prototype of Chinese space station module. The following Shenzhou 8 to 10 missions proved that China had developed critical human spaceflight capabilities like space docking and berthing. In 2016, Tiangong-2 and Shenzhou-11 were launched into low Earth orbit. A 33-day crewed spaceflight mission proved that China was ready for a long-term space station built and maintained by its own. The latest launch of the Shenzhou-12 spacecraft, which carries three astronauts, will be the third of the 11 missions China planned to complete its construction of the space station Tiangong by the end of 2022.